Hello and welcome back to the one of the video series on how to use Blender 2.7. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new Boolean Intersect tool, which is a new tool in Blender 2.77, which allows you to use the old Boolean modifier, but as a tool right inside of edit mode. Let's go ahead and dive in. First, I'm going to show you how to use or do a quick review of how to use the old Boolean modifier tool, and then we'll jump into using the new tool and the little few quirks that are with it and exactly how you use it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to zoom in on my default cube and I'm going to add a second object because they use the old Boolean modifier. And by the way, if you want to check out my old Blender 2.7 video on the Boolean modifier, I'll put a link to that on the screen right now. Otherwise, you can just follow along with this video. Let's go ahead and add a second object because for that Boolean modifier, you need two objects. I'll press Shift A on my keyboard to bring up the Add menu and I'm going to select Mesh and cylinder. I'll press G to move the cylinder, but I'll press Shift Z on my keyboard to only move it on the X and Y axes. Shift Z negates the Z axis, so now I'm moving it only on the X and Y. Let's go ahead and put it right there so it's overlapping with the cube, and I'll press S and then Z to scale it only up and down on the Z axis. Click. There we go. These two objects are overlapping, so what I'll do is I'll use the Boolean modifier to use the cylinder to cut out a rounded corner from the cube. So I'm going to select the cube, and I'll go over here to my properties window, and under the wrench tab with the cube selected, I'm going to add the modifier, the Boolean modifier right there. And what we want to do here is select the second object. I've got the cube selected, the modifier is added to the cube. I'll select the cylinder by clicking in this box right here. And uh, the Boolean modifier has three options. It's not intersect that we want, it's difference that we want. This is the one that uses the uh, second object, the cylinder, as the cookie cutter. So now, it doesn't look different, but if I switch my viewport shading over to uh, wireframe, which is right here, under this button, or you can press C on your keyboard, you can see that now my cube has a rounded corner cut out of it using the shape of the cylinder. Great, I can press apply with my cube selected, that'll make it permanent, I can select the cylinder uh, and delete it with the X key, and I'll press Z to go back into solid view, and I've got my result. That was a bit of a cumbersome, lengthy process, considering that I had to go back, if I was editing this cube into something else, I had to go back into object mode, add a second object in object mode, add a modifier, etc, etc. Let's go ahead and speed that up using this new tool in Blender 2.77. What I'll do is I'll go up to the file menu, I'll select new, and reload startup file. Great, we've got our default scene again. Let's go ahead and jump into edit mode, so I'll press tab on my keyboard. Uh, or of course you can use the mode uh, selecting uh, interface down here, edit mode, and I'll add that second object, the cylinder, inside of edit mode. So, shift A on my keyboard to bring up the add menu. I can only add meshes because I'm inside of edit mode of a mesh. I'm going to add a cylinder, same thing here, G and shift Z on my keyboard to negate the Z axis. So I'm only moving on the X and the Y axes. Great, same thing, S and then Z on my keyboard, scale to make it taller, great. Now here's where things get a little bit different. Normally, if I were using the Boolean modifier, I would have the cube selected. In this case, I want to have the cookie cutter object, the cylinder in my case, selected, because I'm going to be using this to cut out from the rest of my mesh, which could be several different unconnected parts of the same mesh. Right now, the cube, and the cylinder are part of the same mesh, but they're separate islands, they're separate unlinked objects. By the way, I just pressed A on my keyboard to deselect everything. How do I get my cylinder selected again? Well, I'm in vertice select mode. If I put my mouse over one of the vertices and press L on my keyboard, L means linked or island. It selects the linked vertices, or if I have faces selected, I can put my mouse over any one of the faces and press L, it'll select all of those linked faces because these faces in the cylinder are not linked or connected or joined really to the faces or vertices or edges on the cube. With the cylinder selected, I'm going to use the faces menu and I can get to that two ways. I can get to the faces menu by going down to mesh and faces, or I can press with my keyboard shortcuts. Control F inside of edit mode, and here I get the faces menu, 
and here is that new tool, Intersect Boolean. I'll select that with my cylinder selected, Control F, Intersect Boolean, and there we go. The cylinder vanishes, but it leaves behind a cookie cutter away from the rest of the same mesh um, of its original shape. Good deal. I'm going to undo though, because there is a very similar tool. Uh, there is the Intersect Knife tool, and to be honest, I'm not sure if this is a new tool or not. I think it's been around uh, for a little while at least. Uh, but if I press Control F, it's right next door, right above Intersect Boolean. This new tool is Intersect Knife. And when I select that, the cylinder does not delete this time. But if I press Z on my keyboard to go into wireframe mode, you can see that, that there, if I zoom in, that there are in fact um, edges around where the cylinder are. And if I press Z to go back into solid view, and I'll press A and then L to select that whole uh, linked area on the cylinder. And I'll delete that with the X key. And I'll go into face mode, X, and delete all the faces. You can see that there are cuts, like knife cuts, all the way around uh, the uh, cube. And if I select these faces and delete them, X, and faces, there are new interior faces. So it's just a few extra steps, but that might be what you want instead of actually cutting out and deleting your cookie cutter object. You will notice here though that um, these faces are not the right way out. Their normals are flipped around. So what I can do here is I'll select these faces. I can tell that by the way, because they're black when I get look at them from a certain angle. That means they're facing the wrong way, which could be uh, it's bad if you're going to unwrap this to add a texture to it later. So I'll select all these faces and under the third tab, the shading UVs tab on your tool shelf, you can recalculate the normals or flip their direction. There we go. That fixed the problem. Now they don't appear black no matter how you look at them from any angle. That's great. There is one more cool thing about this tool though, and I'm going to basically just make a new file, I guess. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'll go into edit mode. I'm going to make a more custom object here because you don't have to do just cutting away a corner of your mesh. You can make a cookie cutter all the way through a mesh and it'll make really nice end gons, polygons with more than four or three uh, sides. And you can get some pretty cool effects here. So what I'll do is I'll press shift A. I'm going to add a cube this time. It's the exact same size, so I have to be careful. I'll press uh, S and then Shift Z on my keyboard to make this cube smaller. It's basically a cube within a cube. And S, Shift Z again. And I'll scale it down with S and then Z to make it taller. So I've got this cube running through my uh, larger cube. What I'll do is I'll play the extrude game. I'm going to make some kind of funny shapes, maybe I'm going to make kind of a, a S or a Z shape. There we go. So I've kind of made this running through my cube. What I'll do is I'll press A and then L, select it, G, and then Shift Z to move it sort of the center. I'm going to use um, this funny new Z shaped uh, mesh to cut through and to create a hole through my original cube. This will just show you that it will do nice end gons. In other words, the face on the top of the cube will get divided up nicely, same thing with the bottom, even if you have complicated shapes. So A and then L, I'll select my cookie cutter object, Control F to bring up my faces menu, and intersect Boolean, which will now make uh, that cut all the way through, including the interior faces. And I have an end gon, a multi-sided face there and there, and again there and there. Uh, that'll be this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.